All right, this is Cleaner Solutions database, the solutions for surface cleaning. And I'm going to walk you through how to use replace the solvent feature on this database. So this was designed to help users be able to look for similar testing results for particular solvents that have been sent to the lab for us to help replace all of these. So that some of these ones that are on this list may not have specific results enough for what you're looking for or any results, but this is something that people had sent to us and asking us for help on. But you can see there's a long list of alternatives, solvents that people were using that they were trying to find something better, safer than what they're currently using. For the purpose of the expanding on what we're going to show you, we're going to use TCE as the, as the chemical, the solvent that they were trying to replace. Now for this, it's similar to find a product or find a cleaner that this was set up so that you can search using the solvent, but it also has the contaminant and the material that you're trying to remove it from and how you're trying to remove it. But I'm just going to look at the first two settings here to talk about the contaminants as well as the substrates and see how things work. So first of all, I'm just going to run the search to show you what's in the database for all of the solvents replaced for TCE, for the testing that we've run for TCE. So you can see that there's 2,000 records or so of end results. That doesn't mean there's 2,000 trials, it just means there are 2,000 endpoints that match TCE and cleaning applications in here. So what you can do to help, you know, reduce that number down to something that's a little more manageable, you can refine your search using the other criteria. So as you can see, we have TCE. And for this particular case, we're going to look at cutting fluids, lubricants, and greases from aluminum and stainless steel. And then I'm just going to go ahead and submit this the search to see what we get for results. It's going to take a little bit for it to go through, and it's running through. As you can see we went from over 2,000 to just under 300 records to search through. And you can modify that to go even further by filtering out by effective or ineffective. But for this point, I can kind of go through here and show you some of the other features. So as you can see here, this displays a list of products and vendors um, that have been tested in the laboratory for a project that was using TCE using the, the same kind of parameters, either the grease or the lubricant or the cutting fluid on aluminum or stainless steel. And it doesn't mean that both of them are used each of the trials, it's, it's one or the other. So you can kind of go through and read more about each of these things. I'm going to start with the left hand side here to talk about, you can click on the chemical name or the product name to get an idea about what else you can find out about this product. So you can see the expanded safety evaluation details that are there, a summary of all of the testing that this product has been used for, not specifically for what you were looking for. Again, you just saw the safety evaluation. This is a quick little summary of what's there for you to see. To, if you want to know more about it, you can click on this. And it gives you a summary of what these numbers mean and how to interpret the results. So the, probably the more interesting feature of this is down here under the client project and trial numbers. This allows you to read the actual report to see how the testing was done. You can, I'm going to start with the to browse the clients. You can see this is the overall project summary. You see there's multiple projects that are in there. Um, if you click on the exact project number, it'll show you all the trials that were there. And you can also just click directly to the report that has this in it. So here is the, the written report of how the testing was done, was done uh, and the results for not only the product that was showed up in this, but also some of the other ones that were tested at the same time. So you can see that this is the, the overall report of that testing project. So you can kind of click through. If you really wanted to know more about, say, this product, and we'll scroll down through and we'll go to this product, you can kind of you can pair these side by side with each other to show you what these results were. So you can scroll to the bottom. You can compare those three in a head-to-head -head comparison. So they have the aqua advantage, the ethyl 408, and the solstice PF2A with nitrogen. So this is the vendor supplied information about what it's supposed to be used on, the equipment that it can be used with, and the materials that it's compatible with. It provides a safety data sheet and a technical data sheet, the safety screening information, 
as well as the overall summary of these products as a whole as, as we've tested them in the laboratory. So you can see for the Aqua Vintage, we've done 105 trials versus you know, 12 and 24 for the other two. So we have a bigger picture of how this works. You can see it's about an even split of how often is it effective versus ineffective. It kind of gives you the robustness as to how this product might stack up for what you're looking for. So you can see there's a, a lot of information you can gather just by a few simple selections of your initial search. I'm gonna go back to this table here. So you can kind of go through, there's other options here. You can filter it by parts cleaning, precision cleaning, and janitorial cleanings. That relates to the designation that the vendors have provided about their product and what its intended uses before. And as I had mentioned before, you can filter by just the effective results. In. So it's just one way for you to kind of go through and get an idea of what this can do for you.